Hey, this is uh, Dave here. I'm going to show you guys how to change this uh, laptop screen. It's a, a Toshiba satellite uh, laptop. As you can see, it's in uh, desperate need of uh, attention here. Uh, it's not that hard to change. I watched a previous video. It wasn't on my model, so it was a little difficult to adapt it to my instructions. So here's one specifically on this computer. It's a Toshiba Satellite 17-inch screen. Uh, you got to take these little pads off. Like here's one here. They're over the screws here, little bumpers. Right here. Anyway, take them off. I had stuck them to the screen because you should uh, unplug your battery and unplug the uh, computer, which I'd done earlier. And I had to uh, lay it forward, and I'll show you that. Because you have to get the model number and the screen number off the back side of the screen to make sure you're ordering the right one. Like, this was the information off mine. But yours might be totally different. So, I'll show you how to do that here. I'm going to take these uh, screws off here, 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 here. Down here, these had a little bitty plastic cap on them, not a bumper. I didn't see them. They didn't look like a screw at first and I was having some problems. They are kind of on an angle, a little hard to get to. But anyway, I'm going to take, you can get to them with this little screwdriver, no problem. Just take these screws out and then uh, uh, pop the front off. We'll do that real quick here. I'll pause for a minute. I'll take the screws out and then show you. Okay, as you can see, I've uh, taking all the screws out here. I'll try to hold this one up. It's a little tricky. It's down here in the corner, you got to get that little plastic cover off. little round cover. It's not a bumper, so it's pretty thin. I just took it off with a little knife, a tilde knife. Get all those screws out. And then you, you have to pop this cover off. Just start working it off. It's got some little catches in it. This is what I did before I ordered my screen. You have to get the right screen. Like there was several different choices on my model, even for my computer. So you've got to figure out which one do I need. I wrote down all the numbers and then went online. And like mine, I wrote down this HWSA, whatever this stuff is. I didn't think it was important because it wasn't on the model, but that actually hopefully enabled me to get the right one ordered. We'll see here in a little bit. But you need to get look at your screen first. Have the battery unplugged, power cord unplugged. You need to uh, you see how that looks. Not bad. You got a little camera plug here. It's kind of small. You got to take it out. Just unplug that. No biggie. And then uh, you got little screws here on the side. They're very, very little. Put them in a bowl or uh, a plate like I'm doing. Do something. A little magnetized screwdriver helps. I take these out. You might want to, you notice once you get this one out, that's kind of a spring-loaded thing. The cover help hold that in, you know, no biggie. You've got the same thing over here. I'll move my plate a little bit better. Look at this side while I'm doing it, maybe. little screw here. One here. I put down a white towel because the screws are black and I'd already dropped them the first time I took them out to make sure I ordered the right one. Anyway, took it out. At this point, I believe the screen will lay forward. We'll keep it like this for now. These things, that's normal. That's just how it is. You want to lift your screen up. So you don't have to worry about breaking it too much. Lay it down like this. And if you will look on here, you need to do this first. Get your actual model number and make. Write down all this information. What I did was put mine back together and then uh, actually plug it all back in, got online and ordered it. <laughs> But you need to get this information before you do your order, so you make sure you get the right stuff, okay? Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, this is as far as I got the first time. 
Uh, I'm going to take a look at this plug here. Let me see if I can figure this out. I'll stop the video and start it once I do. Okay. I figured out how this plug comes out. This was the camera one here. They're just kind of stuck down for your camera. Be careful there. I lifted this off. This plug here has a piece of tape over the top of it. I took it off. Tape. And got a little sticky there with the plug connector. That's not a good thing probably. I'm going to try to clear that out. And it's sticky on the back side here too. So you have to kind of lift, take this tape off lift this back side up and unplug it this direction towards that way there. That worked pretty good. I'm going to clean this little adhesive off the front of this plug just a touch and I'll turn the video back on see if it'll plug into the new screen. Alright. Oops, sorry. Thanks. Okay, here's the new screen. Here's the plug. Looks like the plug's in the right uh, connection. That's why right, left or right side. That's really important. That's why it's important not on mine, I checked this number before I ordered uh, to make sure that I ordered the right screen. So hopefully I will have a trouble-free installation. You can't guess that. There's like six different choices just for my model. So having these numbers here helped me quite a bit. Hopefully. <laughs> anyway, this plug here, I cleaned off that adhesive I was talking about on the plug itself. And it should just plug right in here. That looks pretty good. I put the tape back down, stuck this part back down. Looks like I'm plugged in pretty good, back to the original way. And then this one here kind of went straight up. Oh, I kind of looked at my other one. Hopefully this will be about right. Just straight up, and stick it back down, plug the camera back in. Okay camera's not part of the screen but it comes on the cable there. Then this piece of tape here was was on the other one. You can put this uh, I think it was there actually. We'll put it there. And then this will just lift back in place. I left the plastic here. I'll remove it now. And you put it in here. Hopefully it will work. I'm going to put those screws in the side. Sometimes you got to, uh, let me zoom this out. I'm going to put the screws back in the sides here on the front and back. Sometimes you have to lift the screen up and down to get the little screws back in. They're pretty small and kind of a pain, but Get the three in on each side. Plug your camera back in. Uh, I'll do that and then we'll test it, okay? Now I wanted to show you, when you put this screen back in, this little piece here lifts up and this little sheet metal. You get this little first top one here started. You got to lift the screen up and get this just right. And then the other one down here, I think there's supposed to be one here. I might have lost the screw, but... Uh, whatever came out put back in. Then one down here would be a lot easier to start if you can get this one here. You can kind of move it around a little bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, put one of the, uh, before I put the trim piece on, I'm going to temporarily put one in here. And I'm going to pop the trim piece. I'm going to go ahead and put the battery in. I just don't want the screen falling forward because I want to test it from this point. So let me plug the battery in. And if it works, then I'm going to go ahead and put it all back together. Alright, we'll see how well this company did. I'm going to post a link to their website. And uh, here we go. Oh, look at that. We'll zoom out here. Okay, that's what happens when you pull your battery out. Not in safe mode. Start windows normally. Okay, I'm going to go ahead. Now oh, this looks good. I'm happy camper now. Looks like we're doing pretty good. I had a little bit of a fun time. If you look in right here, I'll zoom in on this little dude. Uh, if you look here, this little battery, 
I mean, not battery, but this little camera, you know, for Skyping, which I Skype a lot. Uh, it's kind of a pain getting that plug back in there. It doesn't have a clip on it. It just kind of pushes in and out. But, I mean, I was able to do it a couple times now because I had first removed the screen. But anyway, be careful there. I'm going to go ahead and load up Skype and see if the camera works too. All right? But it uh, might take a minute to get everything going here. But basically, I'm going to install the trim pieces. I'll stop the video for now. Looks like my screen's working great. Man, I'm a happy camper. That old one was junk. I'll double check to make sure my camera still works. Got nothing to do with this screen other than that cable was taped to the back of it. But looks like we're success here. I'll double check that. And uh... Okay, I wanted to show you this one because it was kind of tricked me out. It was hard for me to find that little cover down there and got it out. It didn't even look like it was one, but there's a screw there and I couldn't get the cover off, you know. But if I put the screw like this on my finger to put it back in. You can kind of, it looks harder than it is. You can see how quick that one in there. I ain't going to worry about putting no plastic cover back on it. But, uh, you know, that does hold your, your thing in your screen cover. And I'll go to the other side. Maybe you can watch me do that one. Try to get some type of view here on the camera. Oh, sorry. Uh, open it up a little bit. You can get the screw started in the hole. You can get it in there. It kind of lines itself up pretty good. I was kind of surprised. So you've got uh, to recap. Very, very happy with this company. I said it was going to take not be here the 29th. Well, it's the 23rd. Got the thing like in four days without any special shipping. You know, I paid a little bit, whatever the uh, UPS. Uh, it came packed really, really well. I'll show you. I'll show you the me putting one of these little screws in. There's four across the top and just two on the bottom. They go right in. Anyway, this uh, company I ordered this from, there's a link there in the video to them. They bribed me with a $20 refund if I did a good video. <laughs> we'll see about that, you know. But anyway, uh, to recap, and if you want to put them little plastic little covers back on, they go right here. And I I lost one of the bumpers for this side over here uh, where I got my thumb. I lost the bumper so I'm going to try to find it. The one on the other side came in there. But anyway, I was going to tell you, this came in bubble wrap. The new one came in uh, in bubble wrap. Really nice. I'm surprised. Let me zoom out here. I'll show you this. But, uh, it came in a, uh, it came wrapped up in bubble wrap here, and then also, it came, if you look over there, it came in a whole box, too, and so it was packed really well. It came in, like, two days. I couldn't believe it over the weekend. Amazing. Anyway, packed real well. Look at that. Real happy camper here. Screen working great. Ukrainian wife looks great. Okay. A success. Only cost me, I think, 85 bucks with shipping and everything. Alright, no big deal. You can do it. Good luck.